All right, let me go and see if I can maybe do this at a, a little bit slower place and help you guys understand a little bit better. When I want to find an equation of a line parallel and perpendicular to a line y equals 3 eighths x minus 3 and pass it through the point 4, negative 10. Now, there's a couple things we notice. Here, uh, I know this is not a um, graph of the exact graph over here, but you could say that, all right, let's say pretend that this y-intercept is at negative 3, and this is a graph of 3 8 slope. Well, the one thing I notice about this um, graph is if I want to find a line that's parallel to it, that line does not have the same y-intercept, okay? So what I need to do is I need to find out what is the new y-intercept of my line that's parallel to it. So I need to figure out how am I going to, how am I going to determine a line that's parallel to it and what has a different y-intercept. Well, the one property we know about parallel lines is parallel lines have exactly the same slope. So if I'm going to write a new equation, because this is how to find an equation. So if I need to write a new equation, I'm going to rewrite the equation, which I did right here. I'm going to rewrite the equation, but rather than using the old y-intercept, I'm going to use our new y-intercept, which is b. Okay, because I don't know what b represents. And this is kind of confusing for a lot of people because b is an arbitrary number, meaning we're going to find its value. And people don't understand why b is your y-intercept. b is just your variable that you're trying to solve for. So then, then the other thing it says is it has to go through the point um, 4, negative 10. So um, somehow my graphs, now like I said, this graph is not representative of this problem. It was just a quick little sketch. So therefore my, my equation has to go through my point 4, negative 10. So therefore, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my point, my, this is my x value, and this is my y value. I'm going to plug in 4 for my x value and negative 10 for my y value. And when I do that and solve, I get 11, I get negative 11 halves equals b. Then all I do is, so now that's my new y-intercept. And then I look over here and I say, all right, so if I want to write that, if I want to find that line parallel to it, all I'm going to say is y equals my same slope, because parallel lines have to have the same slope, so it has to have the same slope, x minus my new y-intercept, which is 11 halves. Does that make a little bit of sense? Okay, thank you.